Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Rich and Pam's Camping Adventures. This week we are in North Central Florida near the city of White Springs. We are at the Stephen Foster Folk Cultural Center State Park. Okay, Stephen Foster, number one. We'll take a look at one of the campsites. Pretty standard stuff, comes with picnic table fire pit, old grill if you choose to use it, also has power and water. There are no full hookups, no sewage hookups. A lot of the sites are fairly private, kind of surrounded by woods and jungle as it looks. Some of them are more out in an open area. See the one across the road over there. It's a little more into the open area. There are three loops, I believe, in this park, about 60 sites or so. really quiet here and the rest of the park is really quite nice this is the Stephen Foster Museum with archive material in it situated on the banks of the legendary Suwannee River the Stephen Foster Folk Cultural Center State Park honors the memory of American composer Stephen Foster, who wrote Old Folks at Home, the song that made the river famous and became the state song of Florida. The museum features exhibits about Foster's most famous songs, and his music can be heard emanating from the park's 97 Bell Cavern Line throughout the day. Hiking, Biking, canoeing, and wildlife viewing are popular activities. Miles of trails wind through some of the most scenic areas of North Florida. The Caroline was originally constructed by J.C. Deegan Incorporated for the spire of the Florida Exhibit Building at the 1939 World's Fair. It had 75 bells, weighed 25 tons, and was the largest Caroline in the world by the number of bells. It was a gift of Florida's Stephen Foster Memorial Association, who intended to place it at a new Stephen Foster Memorial Building in White Springs after the fair. The installation at the Folk Cultural Center State Park didn't occur until the summer of 1958, by which time the bell count had increased to 97. The Caroline plays foster songs throughout the day. A second museum area inside the tower also features exhibits about Stephen Foster and the Caroline. It was damaged by an electrical storm in 2017 and repairs are underway currently.
We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Rich and Pam's Camping Adventures, and will join us again soon as we explore more parks around the southeastern United States.